Hello Bulls, are you aware that your Satisfactory Academic Progress, or SAP status, is used to pay your financial aid? Let's review. SAP is a federal requirement for all students, even if you have never received financial aid. For graduate students, SAP has three parts. One, your GPA. Two, your pace or progress to completing your degree. And three, maximum time. You must maintain a 3.0 USF GPA each semester. You must also earn 67% of all attempted credit hours. Your maximum time is set based on your degree level, not your degree program, and also includes all hours attempted as a graduate or professional student. Master's degree students can receive aid until 70 hours have been attempted. Educational specialists, 115 attempted hours, and doctoral level, 135 attempted hours. These credit hour limits include any graduate level courses taken, even if you did not complete or changed academic programs. Missing transcripts, withdrawals, failing classes, and program changes are some of the situations that can negatively affect SAP. If you are not meeting SAP, you may have to pay your bill using other sources. To keep your federal financial aid, you must have a good SAP status. Scholarships are not affected by SAP. If you are in the MD, DPT, or PharmD programs, review your student handbook for more details. What are the easiest ways to keep your aid? Complete your classes with passing grades, keep at least a 3.0 GPA, and graduate on time. SAP is calculated at the end of each semester after your grades have been posted. After you check your grades, review your SAP status. Log in to Student Self-Service by clicking the tile on My USF. Select Financial Aid. View your status from the home page or select Satisfactory Academic Progress from the main tab and review your status. Remember, SAP requirements are not the same as your program's requirements to graduate. If you have any questions, you can check our website. Thanks for watching and go Bulls!